Hello friends and today's artificial intelligence class we are going to see the inference engine and the forward chaining algorithm that will come under second unit logical reasoning. In the inference engine there are two modes first one is forward chaining algorithm and backward chaining algorithm but in this video we are going to see only the forward chaining algorithm in detail and in the next video we will see the backward chaining algorithm. First let us see what is uh, inference engine. Inference engine is the component of intelligent system in which the logical rules are applied to the knowledge base, to the knowledge base. Knowledge base means KB and why? To infer new information from known facts, to infer new information that is we are going to extract new information from the already existing information which are stored in knowledge base. The first inference engine was part of the expert system and here there are two modes first one is forward chaining and second one is backward chaining. The important classes in inference engine are horn class and definite class and these two are different forms of sentences simply which are available in the knowledge base and what is the purpose of these two classes means to improve the efficiency of inference algorithm and here the logical inference algorithm uses the forward and backward chaining algorithms and that required the knowledge base and the information in the knowledge base should be in the form of first order definite class and let us see what is definite class it is a class which is a disjunction of literals which is a disjunction of literals with exactly one positive literal is known as definite class or it is otherwise called as strict on class and second one is horn class it is a class which is a disjunction of literals with at most one positive literal with at most one positive literals is called as horn class hence all definite classes are horn classes let us see one example for this so in this example we are having this is negative literal and this is positive uh, negative literal and k is positive literal and the symbol the symbol is disjunction symbol so we are having disjunction of disjunction class this class is called as disjunction class because we are using only the disjunction uh, symbol and we are having only one positive literal hence this is called as which class horn class and definite class The next question is what do you mean by forward chaining algorithm? This is one of the important concept in this second unit. The forward chaining is known as forward deduction or forward reasoning method when using an inference engine. And forward chaining is a form of reasoning which starts with atomic sentences in the knowledge base and applies inference rules that is modus ponens in forward direction to, ex to extract more data until goal is reached until the goal is reached and it is a bottom up approach that means it moves from bottom to top it is a process of making conclusion based on facts or data by starting from initial state and reach the goal state and the forward chaining means the forward chaining algorithm starts from known facts known facts are available in the knowledge base and triggers the entire rules whose uh, premises are premises are satisfied adding their conclusions to the known facts adding their conclusion to the known facts and this process repeats until the query is answered until the query is answered or no new facts which are called so this is called as forward chaining forward chaining means the starts from known facts 
and it triggers the entire rules in the knowledge base whose premises are satisfied and adding their conclusions to the known facts. And this process, these three process will be repeated until the query is answered or no new facts are called. This is called as forward chaining. And now let us see one example. Here they will give you a set of statements. The given statements are as per the law it is crime for an American to sell weapons to hostile nation. A country A an enemy of America has some missiles and all missiles were sold to it by Robert who is an American citizen. So from these statements we need to prove that Robert is a criminal. To solve the above problem first we have to convert all the above facts into first order definite classes and this is very important. First we need to convert all the given English statements into first order logic statements. The facts conversion into first order logic that is the given English statements will be converted into first order logic form. It is crime for an American to sell weapons to hostile nations. Here we are having three different variables and we are going to apply these variables in American weapon and hostile nation that is American of P conjunction that is and weapon of Q and cells P comma Q comma R that is P cells Q to R and hostile of R implies criminal of P. This is the first statement. First statement will be converted into first order logic form. And the country A has some missiles. The country A has some missiles. Some missiles means existential instantiation. Isn't it? So, there exist P wants A comma P and missile of P. A comma P and missile of P. It can be written into definite class by using existential instantiation. And for to replacing this thing, we are going to introduce another variable T1. Hence, wants a comma t1 is the second sentence and missile of t is the third statement and next one all the missiles were sold to the country a by robert there exist p missile of p there are some missiles wants a comma p wants a comma p that implies cells Robert comma P comma A. So, this is the third statement and next statement is missiles are weapons. Missiles are weapon, weapon means missile of P implies weapons of P and this is the fifth one and next statement is enemy of America is known as hostile. Enemy of P comma America implies hostile. And next one country A is an enemy of America that is enemy of A comma America. And the last one is Robert is American, American of Robert. So this is how we need to convert all the facts that is English statements into first order logic statements. And now let us start the forward chaining proof first step. In the first step, we will start the known facts. We will start only from the known facts which will cho choose from the sentences. Here I gave all the sentences which do not have implications, which do not have implications. So we will choose the sentences which do not have further implications. First one is American of robot. We will take that sentence first and enemy A comma America and third one owns a comma t and the last one is missile of t. So, all the sentences are here only. 
So, second one, third one, enemy of A and American Robert. In the second step, we will see the facts which infer from available facts. The facts which will infer from available facts that to be satisfied the premises. And let us see all the rules one by one. First, we will take the first rule which does not satisfy the premises. So, we will not add this first rule in the first iteration. And the rule 2 and rule 3 are already added. Rule 2 is here, rule 3 is here and those two rules are already added. And rule 4 which satisfy the substitution T1 in the place of P. So, cells robot comma T1 comma A is added. Cells robot comma T1 comma A is added and that will come the conjunction of rule 2 and 3. Conjunction means so this is the conjunction rule. If we do the conjunction of rule 2 and rule 3 then we will get this rule 4. So, rule 4 is added here and rule 6 which is satisfies the substitution of A in the place of P. So, vessel of A is added which infers from rule 7. Rule 7 is here, rule 7 is here and this A will be replaced in the place of P, then we will get hosile of P that is taken from rule 6. Okay. So, from here this will be added that is rule 7 will be added here. In step 3, we will check rule 1 which will be satisfied with the substitution of Robert in the place of P and T1 in the place of Q, A in the place of R and Robert here we can include Robert. See this Robert will be included here and T1 will be substituted in the place of Q, T1 is missile and missile is nothing but weapon and R in the place of A. A is a hostile nation. So, we can infer the term, the term, we can infer the term criminal robot which infers all the available facts that is the conjunction rule of all the available facts we will infer the term criminal robot. Hence, we reach our goal statement. And that is all about the forward chaining algorithm. In the next video, we will see the backward chaining algorithm. Friends, give your comment in the comment box. Thank you all of you.